No, computers are not taking over, but they're really good at board games. I'm Jeff Bacalar filling in for Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. So, a supercomputer programmed by Google just beat world champion Lee Sedol at Go, which is an ancient and complex board game. Google's bot named AlphaGo is part of the company's artificial intelligence team. Now, the competition took place at Google's DeepMind Challenge in South Korea, where the game has been streamed more than three million times. So, of course, whenever a computer beats a human at something, the internet seems to freak out about an imminent takeover. But most experts in the field still reassure us that while a robot can be really good at something like playing a game, the AI that would be needed for more complex things, like world domination, yeah, that's still mostly science fiction. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak says that he's most excited about Amazon's Echo. The personal assistant has begun to pick up a lot of momentum even before the Woz endorsement because of its ease of use and always listening format. You don't need to pick anything up, you just talk and it works. Woz believes it'll be the next big platform for the near future. So some really interesting Twitter data is suggesting that mining the social network for key information about the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy might have been more accurate than government models in assessing the damage. Inaccurate mapping delayed the region's recovery by what's estimated at months, and amazingly enough, tweets from residents on the ground have proved to be more of an accurate geographical representation for narrowing down the damage. At the South by Southwest conference in Austin, Texas, President Obama was asked about the government's involvement in the controversial iPhone security situation. While he couldn't comment on the specific FBI versus Apple case, he did talk about the ways in which we view data and his opinion that we cannot have an absolutist view on data as a whole. Obama went on to reassure that there should not be a government overreach when it comes to privacy, but the quickly evolving world of technology certainly makes that a tough situation to balance. And finally, cross-console play may not be such a far-fetched reality. Today, Microsoft announced its support for cross-network play, meaning one day Xbox players could play against PC and PlayStation users. There is a catch, though. No one has taken up the offer to allow for cross-play just yet, meaning we may not see widespread PlayStation and Xbox compatibility, but it's definitely cool to know that the door has been opened. That'll do it for this tech news update. For everything else, head over to CNET.com. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Bacalar.